Hey, this is Dave from Film School in a Box. Today I'm going to show you how to use motion in order to create a split screen and a quad split in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to start off by taking a look at a scene from The Confession. Come on, man. Ah, oh, look at the chair. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Nothing. Now lean back nice and slow. What are you doing? Lean back nice and slow. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we got to do is to import our footage, which I have already done. So next, let's bring our first angle into the timeline using the overwrite button over here. Press the home key to bring the playhead to the front of the sequence. Now, we need to create a new track, so use control click to add a track, then drag your V1 video track up to track 2, and bring in the next piece of footage. You can see our new footage covers the old footage because the layer we just created sits on top of our original layer. Think of it as a cake where the top layer is the frosting and it covers everything below. Now let's double click on our top layer and go up into the viewer and click on the motion tab. To create our split screen, we have to shrink the image, so we need to change the scale. And let's make it 70%. And now that we've shrunk the image, you can see our original layer is still underneath it. Let's go over to the canvas now, and drag our shrunken footage over to the right. We want to maintain a border, so let's go back to motion and use the crop function. And we'll crop until we get a border that we're happy with right around there. That's good. Okay, let's repeat those steps with the other layer now. Double click on layer one, go to motion, change to 70%, drag the footage over to the other side, and then crop. And there you have it. Our split screen has been created. Now let's play it. Come on, man. Okay, looks great. The only problem is I want to see reactions when I see that gun. So this is the perfect time for a quad split. First thing we're going to do is to use control click to add four tracks. Now let's bring in our footage. Make sure for each piece you change the video tracks and that your playhead is to the front of the sequence. Alright, and once we get all of our footage into the timeline, Let's click on the top layer to bring it up into the viewer and click on the motion tab. Like before, we need to change our scale. I'll choose 45. Now let's drag the footage into the corner here for our first angle in the quad split. And then let's repeat this for all four layers. Double click on the footage, go to motion, change the scale to 45. Drag your footage to wherever you want it on the screen. And there's our new quad split. Now let's watch what we've created, starting with the split screen and then the quad. Come on, man. Ah, oh, look at the chair. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Nothing. Now lean back nice and slow. <laughs> what are you doing? Lean back nice and slow. <laughs> you feel that? And there you have it. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more, please visit our website at www.filmschoolinabox.net. <laughs>